in times of uncertainty, we got to trust God. In times of clarity, we got to trust God. In times of happiness and celebration, we have to trust God. In times of darkness and despair, we have to trust God. And as we trust God, that means we're also trusting his timing on everything. Because when we're crying out to the Father and when we're praying to praying to God, we know, we know God is faithful to perform his word. We know he's working behind the scenes on our behalf. We know the end of the story. But that what happens is as we're on our way to the end of the story, as we're walking out our faith, as we're walking out our victory, the enemy would love for you to quit. The enemy would love for you to get impatient. The enemy would love for you to pick up worry, pick up anxiety, pick up fear, pick up doubt. But today we are saying, I trust God. I am not picking up any of that. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust his heart. (laughs) I'm going to trust God. I'm not going to be anxious about it. I'm going to trust God to make it clear in the moment when, when he needs it to be clear for me. Welcome back to the Live Lovely podcast, a podcast designed to help you live, love, and lead well. I'm your host, April Nicole Scipio, the More Coach. So excited that you are joining me on the podcast today. Those of you who are listening in and watching on the More In Your Morning Show, welcome. Today's topic is all about trust. That's right, trust. This is a very big topic. I do not plan on covering all there is to cover about trusting in God's plan, but I do want to start a conversation with you. I was thinking about last week's episode all about embracing your unique design. And if you missed that episode, please go back and listen, subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. But when I was thinking about embracing our unique design, that really does require a level of trust because as God is is giving us instruction, right? We're embracing our design. We're embracing our purpose. We are recognizing how we're gifted. We are embracing our passion and we are getting divine guidance from him. When we take these steps, there is still, even though we're embracing all this, we're confident about it, there is still a level of trust that is developed in us as we are following God's plan for our life. Like we have to make the decision that we are going to trust God in all of it. So I want you to write this in your journal today. Maybe you want to write it in the comments, in the chat. I trust God. I trust, I trust God. We have to declare this over our lives today. We have to say, I trust God. I trust the way that God made me. I trust the way he gifted me. I trust his assignment for my life. I trust the passions he's put in my heart and I trust the steps that he's put in front of me. And we're going to unpack today, trusting in God's plan for your life. We got to trust. We got to trust him when times are good. And we got to trust him when times are tough. There was a time in my life a few years ago when I was going through a really, really, really hard time. A lot of you know my story. I ended up losing my job in education. A few months later, I had a miscarriage And it was about a four to five month period that was very, very dark for me. And I remember sitting with my journal and I just was at a loss of words. For me, that's big. Y'all know, like I'm all about some words. I just remember sitting on my, in my house. I was actually, I was outside on my, on my back patio. I was sitting with my journal and, and I, I didn't have anything to say. I didn't have anything to write. I could just, the tears were just flowing. And I just remember thinking, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? And the Lord in his kindness, I just felt the peace of God come over me. And the Lord reminded me to just trust him. And I remember taking my pen 
tears running down my face, writing in my journal, Proverbs 3, (laughs) 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. And it was at that moment that I had to make a decision that I have no clue (laughs) what's happening. I don't understand with my natural mind, this season that I'm in, but I had to come to a point where none of that mattered. I just had to choose to trust God. And I want to encourage you today to trust God because as you embrace how God made you, as you embrace how God uniquely gifted you, as you embrace your assignment, as you embrace your passions and you rediscover rediscover them and you're taking steps to follow Jesus, you will encounter some bumps along the way. You will encounter opportunities where you can either run and hide, draw back, or make the decision to trust God to buckle down, to hold on tight to the father and not let go and say, God, it doesn't matter how bumpy the road is. It doesn't matter how dark it is. It doesn't matter if I have no clue why it's happening to me. It does none of that. God, none of that matters right now because I trust you. In times of uncertainty, we got to trust God. In times of clarity, we got to trust God. In times of happiness and celebration, we have to trust God. In times of darkness and despair, we have to trust God. And as we trust God, that means we're also trusting his timing on everything. Because when we're crying out to the Father and when we're praying to praying to God, we know, we know God is faithful to perform his word. We know he's working behind the scenes on our behalf. We know the end of the story. But th- what happens is as we're on our way to the end of the story, as we're walking out our faith, as we're walking out our victory, the enemy would love for you to quit. The enemy would love for you to get impatient. The enemy would love for you to pick up worry, pick up anxiety, pick up fear, pick up doubt. But today we are saying, I trust God. I am not picking up any of that. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust his heart. (laughs) I'm going to trust God. I'm not going to be anxious about it. I'm going to trust God to make it clear in the moment when, when he needs it to be clear for me. I want to read Philippians 4, 6, and 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And this is God's will for us that we receive his peace today because as we've said yes to him and we're embracing all of us and all of our purpose and and all the things we have to make the decision to also embrace this posture of trust and receiving God's peace today I want to give you four practical things that I want you to do as you make as you make this decision to trust God. <laughs> this is all God, y'all. I'm I'm kind of laughing because honestly, like this podcast episode is not going any it's not like if I'm looking at my notes right now, y'all. <laughs> and this is all God because this is not how I thought this episode was going to go, but here we are. Because God, somebody needs to hear this today in the way that I'm that I'm sharing today obviously cuz I'm like, "Okay, Lord." <laughs> he's got something to say. He's using me to say it today. So here we go. Four things you can do starting today as you are making this decision to trust God. Number one, consistent prayer and meditation. What does it mean to pray? Prayer is just being in communication with God. It does not have to look so formal. It's literally, it's literally making the decision that I'm going to communicate with God throughout my day, every day. 
and I'm going to meditate on the word of God. Meditate means I'm going to think about what God has said, what God is saying, but I'm also going to speak what God has said and what God is saying. So I'm in constant communication with God. I'm I'm speaking to him. I'm listening to him, not just speaking. I'm looking and I'm reading his word and then I'm speaking the word of God over my situation. That is critical if we are going to truly trust God's plan for our life. Consistent prayer and meditation. Write this down. Get this in the chat. Get this in the comments. This is, this is how we're applying this in our life today. Secondly, seek wise counsel. You guys, we were not meant to do life alone. We, God put people in our lives to help us. Stop resisting help. Stop resisting help because you are afraid of what people are going to think. You are afraid of what people are going to say. You are afraid of what pe- how people are going to judge you. You have to get to a point where you don't care what somebody says. You are seeking God and you are going to seek wise counsel because you are going somewhere. God has things for you to do. He has places for you to infiltrate. He has mountains for you to stand on and preach his message with your life. We have to be okay with seeking wise counsel. Number three, maintain a gratitude journal. This is so key, you guys. We have to keep, like in Philippians 4, when it says with thanksgiving, that's a real thing. Because I'm telling you, praise is my weapon. Worship is my weapon. When stuff is going bad, I'm like, okay, what can I be thankful for? Lord, thank you for waking me up today. Thank you that I have the peace of God today. Thank you that I'm healthy today. Thank you that my kids are safe today. Thank you for my business today. God, thank you for the clients you're allowing me to serve today. God, thank you for this awesome community that I get to love on today. God, thank you for this house I get to live in. God, thank you for this food I get to eat. I just start praising and thanking God and the atmosphere changes. So I'm encouraging you to have a gratitude journal to maintain a gratitude journal because if every single day you are thanking God, every single day you are whipping the enemy with your worship weapon. I'm telling you, you don't need the choir behind you to praise and worship. You don't need the keyboardist to to let God know that you're thankful. Write these things down every day. God, I thank you for this. I'm keeping my heart posture and the gratitude of thanksgiving. Because I trust you, God. And if you did it, then you'll do it again. If you did it in the past, you'll do it again. God, thank you for how you delivered me last time. Because guess what, God? I know you're gonna, you are going to deliver me this time. So we're going to be consistent with our prayer and with our meditation. We're going to seek wise counsel. We're going to maintain our gratitude journal. The last thing, number four, we are going to reflect on the faithfulness of God. So as you are maintaining this journal, take moments to reflect. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When we look at God's faithfulness, man, that builds our faith. When you see God working in someone else's life, that's why I love it. When my, I'm always encouraging my community to share wins with each other. Because it, 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 it screams <laughs> of how faithful our God is. And when I look at your life and I can celebrate with you and I can see how God has been faithful in your life, guess what? That fuels my faith. That builds my faith because I know God is no respecter of persons. So I know if God did it for them, he is going to do it for me. I'm telling you, we have to reflect on the faithfulness of God, not just in our lives, but in the lives of our brothers and sisters in Christ. When we see how faithful God is, man, when we, we, were, we reflect on that. It just helps it, it just helps us to remember, man, God's going to do it for me. In fact, <laughs> write this down in your journal. God is doing it for me now. Get that in the comments. Get that in the chat. God is doing it for me now. I want to pray for us today because we, as a community, today, We're trusting God. We're excited. We have embraced who we are. We have embraced how God has given us purpose. We have recognized how we're gifted. 
We have embraced our passions. And as we are taking steps, we know bumps are going to come. But man, we are not moved because we are a community that has made a decision to trust God. Let's pray. God, we thank you today. And we praise you, Lord, for your faithfulness, Lord. God, as we are in constant communication with you today, as we meditate on your word today, God, I thank you for speaking to our hearts. I thank you for reassuring us, God, that you see us, that you hear us, God, and that you are responding. God, we keep our hearts with thanksgiving today. We get our focus on you today, Father, and we receive the supernatural peace of God. We resist worry. We resist fear. We resist anxiety in the name of Jesus. God, what we're saying today is we trust you. God, we thank you that we are not going to lean on our own understanding today. But today, God, as a community, we are acknowledging you, Lord, and we believe you are directing our every path. God, we trust you. And we thank you for what you're doing in our lives today. We thank you what you're doing for us today. And we thank you what you are doing through us today. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I hope you are fired up just like I'm fired up today. I'm telling you, God is just good. Like this, what I shared today, told, mm, I have my notes. But God had a whole thing he wanted to do today. And I pray that you received what he wanted to do today. April Nicole Scipio decreased today so God could increase. Receive what God is speaking you, speaking to you today and then act on it. I love you with the love of Christ. Listen, subscribe to this podcast. Give it a review. Share this out. Tell a friend you need to trust God. Here you go. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for next week. Until then, this is April Nicole Scipio reminding you that God has more for your life. Be blessed. Love you.